His was a life of applause and accolades. Stephen Hawking was a devoted scientist but was often treated like a statesman. Millions revered him for his gift of communicating complex matters to the masses. On Wednesday, there were expressions of sadness across the world, from the Cambridge University College, where he worked for decades, to the foreign ministry in Beijing. Mr Stephen Hawking was an outstanding scientist who has been battling disease. He made great contributions to science and to mankind. And as far as I know, Mr Hawking visited China three times in his lifetime. We are alive. We are intelligent. Hawking decoded some of the most enigmatic mysteries of the universe, its origins, structure and end, from Big Bang to black holes. He also beat the odds spectacularly. Hawking was almost 21 and a student at Cambridge University when he was diagnosed with ALS, a degenerative motor neuron condition. He was given just two and a half years, but went on to live for more than half a century. It taught me not to pity myself because others were worse off, and to get on with what I still could do. I am happier now than before I developed the condition. I am lucky to be working in theoretical physics, one of the few areas in which disability is not a serious handicap. As the disease progressed, Hawking lost mobility and had to rely on a wheelchair. His speech began to slur, and an emergency throat operation robbed him of his voice, but not for long. Hawking turned to a speech synthesizer, selecting words by moving his cheek muscles, a tedious process, but one that allowed him to express his pioneering ideas. It also gave him his trademark American accent. There have been a few setbacks, like the Dark Ages. Hawking was respected early on in scientific circles for helping to prove the Big Bang theory about how the universe burst into existence 14 billion years ago. Global acclaim came in 1988 with the release of his book, A Brief History of Time. This introduction to cosmology was a global hit. It sold more than 10 million copies and been translated into dozens of languages. At this Tokyo bookstore, his fans have been paying tribute. He had a mind that no ordinary person could fathom. I wonder if he was able to convey everything that he wanted to convey through his research. Stephen Hawking became a figure in popular culture, guest starring on shows such as The Simpsons and Star Trek. You are bluffing. Wrong again, Albert. The fluorescence in the washing pad is caught by the UV light. And public fascination with him culminated in the Hollywood film of his remarkable life, The Theory of Everything. The universe is expanding. If you reverse time, then the universe is getting smaller. Stephen Hawking devoted his life to seeking answers to the questions of our existence. And in doing so, he helped us to peer deeper into how our universe works.